The Battle of Xiaoyang Yitong, also known as the Battle of Xiaoyi, was one of the 22 major engagements between the National Revolutionary Army and Imperial Japanese Army during the Second Sino-Japanese War. Chapter 1 Background The Japanese were seeking a quicker solution to achieve a Chinese surrender. The Japanese contemplated moving directly down the Yangtze to the relocated Chinese capital, Chongqing. To do so, they would need to capture a critical town in western Hubei province, Itong. The Japanese attack did not commit many troops or material, which enabled the main Chinese commander, Li Zongren, who had frustrated the Japanese before, to repel the Japanese. Chapter 2 Battle On the 1st of May 1940, three divisions of the IJ 11th Army under command of General Wei Kairo Sonabe began a drive towards Zhaoyang. They pushed, towards the 5th War Zone's strongholds in the Tongbaishan and Hongshan Mountains, attempting to encircle and destroy the Chinese 31st Army Group under General Tang Inbo in a pincer movement. The Chinese strategy aimed to let the Japanese forces run low on supplies, and then counter-attack, as had been successfully employed at the Battle of Changsha. When the Japanese managed to outmaneuver Tang's forces, General Zhang Zizhong marched to his aid with the Chinese 33rd Army Group. The Japanese forces rallied and pushed back the Chinese, and General Zhang Zizhong was cut down in a burst of machine gun fire when he refused to retreat from the front lines. He was the most senior Chinese commander to be killed in combat during the war. Chapter 3 Aftermath According to Japanese records, the Japanese casualties were 2,700 troops killed and 7,800 wounded. Chinese records show that 11,000 Japanese troops were killed. While the Chinese Fifth War area arguably made tactically sound decisions in its battle plans, it was ultimately overwhelmed by the sheer firepower of the Japanese combined arms offensive, relying primarily on small arms to face the onslaught of Japanese air, naval, artillery, and armored striking power. As the Chinese commanders had surmised, the Japanese forces were overextended, and were not in a position to pursue their victory. However, the Imperial Japanese Navy pushed strongly for the occupation of Itong, located at the edge of Sichuan province and connecting the 5th and 9th war zones. The Navy felt that it was critically needed as a forward base for air attacks against Chongqing. After considerable argument, the Japanese army agreed to occupy Itong. This dealt a considerable blow to the morale and fighting capacity of the Chinese as no large-scale offensive was mounted after this operation. Chapter 4, Sources Su Long Haswain and Chang Ming Kai, History of the Sino-Japanese War 2nd ed., 1971. Translated by Wen Ha Shung, Chung Wu Publishing, 33, 140th Lane, Tonghua Street, Taipei, Taiwan Republic of China. Page 334-339, Map 20, 21. Van de Ven, Hans. War and Nationalism in China, 1925-1945.